Okay, perfect. So uh, what we do, we don't really work with coaches who want to build uh, clubs, but mm. we have worked with coaches who what they tend to do is they start off like a training program. Yes, uh, that's, like that's, that's, that's where I start. That's where I start. The one-on-ones and stuff. Correct, yes. I'm not so, pressure, pressure I think that because that's needed here. And the players and whatnot are technically yeah. gifted. And then the coaches actually teach them these one-on-one skills, you know? Cor- correct, yeah. So the, the the first step I would I would recommend and what mo- a lot of coaches do is they build mm-hmm. like a training academy first. Right. And once that training academy gets to a certain point and there there is demand for it, then that's when they start to implement teams. Right, right, great. Okay, so great. yes. So for me, that would be the first step. Uh, well, for you, I think that would be the first step. Just establish yourself as a training academy. Uh, start right. working with uh, groups of, of, of players. And then once you're at a point where you have a good amount then you can then start to transition and build building the team aspect. Right. That's, that's my best piece of advice for you would be to right. just uh, grow your training your training academy first. Right. Uh, and you could do that by offering free sessions, uh, running uh, camps, running different types of clinics. And once you get a name out there, then mm-hmm. you can then move on to the next step, which would be implementing teams. Right.